Hi, this is a follow-up video to the Deck Server 900TM. I noticed when I was putting that video together that you can define ports on this Deck Server to be slip enabled. And I got to thinking that maybe what I would be able to do is use something like MTCP, which is a, a DOS-based TCP IP stack that you can run off a floppy and use it to connect to a slip port on the deck server and then connect out from there. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so what I've done is I've got this laptop with a USB floppy drive on it so that I can do stuff in DOS and I've connected that into uh, port 4 on the terminal server. So if you just run a terminal emulator there, you should get, by default, a LAT connection. So you can see now that I'm connected to the port, and I've just got a standard terminal server port set up, which can connect me to LAT and things like that, so you know, I can connect into the back station. Right, so what we should do now is we will set up this port to be a slip port instead of a lat port. Okay, this is a remote session that I have on the deck server. So, port 4 is the one that we're going to change. First thing you do is turn on privileges. So that you can do this stuff. Okay, so what we've done here is We've set the speed of the port. We've turned off things like auto board so that you can't, it won't change the speed, it'll be fixed. Auto connect is turned on so that it will automatically connect to slip. So it's a dedicated slip port. We've turned off brake so you can't hit brake keys and things like that. Uh, this just turns on the RTS CTS type controls. Slip is then turned on. We set the MTU to match the other end and then we say the default protocol is slip. So if we log out port 4 now, we can have a look and see that it's a dedicated slip service. So it connects to slip immediately, and the protocol to slip. Slip's enabled there, and you can have a look at slip parameters in here. It's the MTU and the host address, so when the other event connects, this will be populated. Okay, now we'll have a look at MTCP. Okay, I've set up a floppy disk bootable floppy with the MTCP code on it. So we'll just boot that up and have a look. What you need to do is of course download the MTCP package and extract it there. You also need the ether slip driver which is a networking driver, but it uses the COM port to do slip. So if we look at... I start up here, we just set the, what the configuration file is, and then run this ether slip driver, which sets the interrupt to 60 hex. And then this is the IRQ of the network card. In this case, it's 4, which is uh, COM1. That's the IO port for COM1, 3F8 and the speed of the port. 
So that will simulate a network card talking to the COM port. This is basically a default config file that you get with the package. So we just make sure our packet interrupt is set to 60. The NTU I've blanked out, just use the default at 576. Set your host name of what the PC is going to be called. So I'll just call it that. I've left all the other options blank except for the IP address information at the end. So this will set up the address details that are being used. So now that drive is connected to the port and it's expecting slip. So first thing we can do is do a ping. We'll run the ping utility off the floppy. And it's working. few other utilities there, the DHCP utility which can get an IP address over DHCP. And DNS test. So the DNS lookups. Okay now we'll try FTP. Okay, we'll transfer the file. And we've also got Telnet. So there it is. And you can see that I'm coming in as a IP connection. If we go back to the terminal server and have a look, we can say show port for slip. And it now shows us that we've got this connection from this host. Because before that was all zeros. So what's the point of all this I hear you say? Well it lets you get devices like this onto the internet and this has got a serial port on the side so it can be hooked up to MTCP okay this is very hard to light because it hasn't got a, a backlight so I've got to try and light it from the front we just booted this little machine So I'm going to the MTCP directory. I've created a start.bat which loads the Etherslip driver. So you can see it's loaded there. Let's see if we can ping an external site. And yes, we can. So I'm going to try a telnet here to an internet connected VAX. And just found it. If 
You know what I mean? So it is useful after all. We use the Dex7900 slip features to connect this old palm top PC onto the internet. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting and we shall catch up with you next time.